What you're looking at here is a quarter inch thick aircraft aluminum swing table on an eight and a quarter skill saw, but it also fits on a seven and a quarter skill saw. And this is an elongated version that fits a 10 inch skill saw that allows you to swing past 45 degree for seat cuts when gang cutting rafters. Here's how they look when they're ordered, different prices. First step is to take off your existing table and then with a cordless drill and a 3 8 bit or so, drill out the cherry rivets that free up the riser and the pointer and then bolt them to the swing table with the three bolts provided. Now, skill saw has been monkeying with their tables, trying to make them lighter. So they have these cast aluminum tables and they thickened their protractors. For years, they used this table here or some variation thereof. And it was always the same pointers. If the pointer varied in configuration, it was still accurate. So we have a conundrum here. You have to find yourself an old skill saw pointer if you want the saw to zero out at zero on the protractor. Here you can see it zeroes out perfectly for one of the older eight and a quarters, the newer ones. They do not. An actual point of fact when you're gang cutting, you have to draw a line on a two by and do a couple of trial passes before you run the saw. So this protractor is just to get you in the vicinity thereof. These tables were invented in the 60s for gang cutting rafters. Just as this dado saw was, you can see it's three and a half inches of blade for the bird's mouth. My website is roofframingtools.com. Check it out.